So the text says, um, greetings, you have been selected to pick cotton at the nearest plantation. Devereaux Adams in Smyrna got this text on Wednesday from an unknown number. It continues. Our executive slaves will come get you in a brown van. Be prepared to be searched down once you've entered the plantation. Devereaux received this racist text less than 24 hours after the election, and he wasn't the only recipient. Black people in at least 17 states and Washington, D.C. are reporting they got the same text. It seems that to me, in my personal opinion, it is tied to election. I just don't understand why we all can't just get along. Johnson Sainville's 16-year-old son in McDonough also got the text. So did a few of his friends, all of whom are black. Devereaux feels this targeted racism is fueled by the re-election of Donald Trump. I believe that all his bullies are feeling, they feel empowered by what the hate he spews, but I'm not going to let that hate get to me. I'm not going to sit here and take it. Trump spokesperson said the president elect has quote nothing to do with these text messages. And now the FCC and the FBI are investigating. We don't know who's behind it, which is very scary right now. Johnson looked into it and found the number who texted his son was tied to a company called text now, which provides free texting services. In a statement, TextNow confirmed one or more of their accounts was used, adding, quote, our trust and safety team acted quickly and disabled the related accounts in less than an hour. For Devereaux, he believes these texts were intended to further divide this country in such a vulnerable time. He said he can't, he won't let that happen. There's ways you can combat it. You can combat negativity, you can combat hate, you can combat division with love.